this is the initial setup for Germany in the um, Axis and Allies Global 1940 Bloodbath Rules rule set. Um, as you can see in the Atlantic, they have five submarines in Sea Zones 103, 108, 117, 118, and 124. Uh, they have a battleship in Sea Zone 113, and they have a transport and a cruiser in Sea Zone 114. Now, in terms of the individual countries, or territories, uh, we'll start up here at the top. Um, in Norway, they have three infantry and a fighter. In Denmark, they have two infantry. In Holland, Belgium, they have four infantry, three tanks, and a fighter. In Western Germany, they have two fighters, three tactical bombers, four mechanized infantry, three infantry, one artillery, and three anti-aircraft artillery. In Greater Southern Germany, there are two artillery, three tanks, and six infantry. In Germany, the capital, there are 11 infantry, three artillery, three anti-aircraft artillery, uh, two tactical bombers, and one strategic bomber. In Poland, there is uh, a tactical bomber, a tank, three infantry. In Slovakia, Hungary, there is a fighter, a tank, and two infantry. And in Romania, there is a tank and two infantry. So that is all the forces for Germany at the start of the game. In terms of national objectives that they're looking for, um, they get two IPCs per territory if they control Iraq, Iran, and Northwest Iran. On the old map, that's Northwest Persia, Persia, and Iraq. Right? Uh, they get five IPCs if Germany controls London. They get five IPCs for having a land unit in Cairo or Egypt. They get five IPCs for controlling Denmark and Norway while Sweden remains neutral. Uh, they get five IPCs for some of the more important cities in Russia. Leningrad, which is in uh, Novgorod. Uh, Stalingrad, which is in Volgograd, uh, and of course Moscow. Uh, they get three IPCs if they control the Caucasus. They get five IPCs for having at least five submarines on the map, and they start the game with five submarines on the map, but obviously they usually lose some during the first naval battles. Uh, they get five IPCs as long as they are not at war with the Soviet Union. Uh, they get five IPCs if Argentina and Chile become pro-Axis, and they can become pro-Axis if Germany ever earns at least, I think it's 53 IPCs um, in base income. The Argentina and Chile will turn from neutral to pro-Axis. Uh, and if they're at war with Italy, if Italy joins the Allies, which is a thing that can happen, uh, the Germans would get two IPCs for each original Italian territory that they control. Although that's usually, obviously, later in the game, and only if the Allies manage to flip Italy. So that's Germany in its initial setup. I'll give you a really nice look at the board here. We'll zoom in. I'll take this off the stand and get in a little bit closer to the territories if you want to see in detail what we're looking at. And then up here as well. And then all the submarines in the uh, Atlantic, where they are in relation to the other Navy in the water. Okay, that should be a pretty good um, intro to how Germany starts the game.